In this video, we will create a production ready Docker container for an Angular app. Then we will push this container to AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. So let's start. First, I'll create a Docker file. Make sure also to have uh, installed Docker in your machine. So we need the environment here. So we need the node environment and the version that I will put here is 15.4. And I'll name it as build. So we will do a multi-stage Docker build. I will explain that later. Uh, first, let's focus from this uh, node, this part here. We want to build our app. Let's start with the working directory. You can name it whatever you want. I will call it app. Then we'll copy package.json to the working directory. So I will add also a star here. So this will copy package.json and also package log.json. This dot means this working directory. So once we add those files there, we run npm install. And uh, since we are using a node uh, container, we have npm available. So after we install it, then uh, we need to build it to production. So before I run anything here, I will I want to make a change. Uh, we have ng build here in our scripts, but uh, if we want to build to production, we have to add prod here. So uh, what I will do is I will add a new script prod and this will be ng build prod like this. So this will be easier and uh, now here I will run the command npm run prod. So this will build our app to production. So I will run that command here also. And let's see what files it does generate. So now we will uh, learn why I named it like this. Because uh, once we run uh, npm run prod, it will uh, create some files here and we don't need uh, these files anymore. We need only the distribution folder. So uh, we created the build. So not sure why my app doesn't uh, get the files. Uh, doesn't matter. So let's add a new from here. And this time we want have node, but I will add nginx and the version will be 1.19. So uh, here we want to add node. We will simply serve the HTML files, which uh, I need to refresh. Not sure why uh, they reload. So we have the distribution folder here and we can see we have index HTML and these files. So it's located in the distribution folder Angular Docker. This is the name of my project, by the way. You can name your project uh, whatever. So now we are at Nginx. Uh, we need also a directory here, Nginx. And I will add here a file nginx.conf. Here I will paste this nginx code. So I will provide this code uh, in the description of this video. And uh, let's go to the Docker file. I will copy, copy here nginx, nginx.conf, and we'll copy that uh, to etc nginx nginx.conf so uh, dot here so we have copied that file in this other container and uh, now we will use this build here so 
as I said before, we don't need the, these files anymore. We need only the distribution folder since it will serve the index.html file with these JavaScript built files. So for that, we will copy from build, we'll copy we have the working directory is up here. So from up, dist, and the dist has another folder here, which is Angular Docker in my case, Angular Docker. And uh, we'll copy that to, so I'll add a slash just in case, to user, share nginx HTML. So this way, uh, this was a bigger container since it had not modules and all these files, but this one has only HTML and JavaScript files. So it's smaller container is running on Nginx, which is serving only this HTML file. And we need uh, this Nginx. We need it because uh, when we go to uh, a specific URL, we want to redirect all of them to the index.html. So this is this location. Otherwise, we will get an error. So uh, this is the Docker file. And now let's run it. So to run this Docker file, write Docker build. Uh, we need to specify a name for this uh, Docker file, for this Docker container. I will specify it to, na to app, but you can name it whatever you want. And we need to build uh, this Docker file. So we have to add it as a dot here. So now it's building. Let's wait till it's completed. So it failed uh, because uh, I forgot one line here between uh, npm install and npm run prod which is to copy all the files to the working directory. So my bad there. So this will copy all these files to this uh, working directory. And then we need to build to production. So now that we fixed the problem, let's run it again. So now it was uh, built successfully. And uh, now this container is ready to be pushed to the cloud. But first, let's see it on our browser. So to see it on our browser, we have to run the container. So docker run, we need to specify the port. So uh, the port inside the container is 80. In our local host, we can put whatever port you want. So I will put 8888. So and then we need the name of our container, which we named it up. So that's it. If we run this and uh, go to our browser, let's go to localhost 8888 and we'll see the Angular app running. So uh, this was our container that was built. Now let's push this container to the cloud and I will close this IDE because we won't use it anymore. So I'm logged in now to my AWS management console and uh, we will push now our Docker container to the Elastic Container Registry. So I have a shortcut here or we can search it. So let's go to the Container Registry. And uh, uh, this is the Container Registry. Uh, let's uh, see the repositories. So we don't have any repositories or registries. Uh, we have to create one. So uh, we will push our Docker container here to have uh, our uh, reg repository. First, before we do anything, make sure to install the AWS CLI. So go to aws.amazon.com slash CLI. And uh, on the right side here, you can download the Windows version, the Mac OS version or the Linux version. So with this, you will have access to your terminal to AWS and you have uh, several commands that you can use. So now let's first log in to Elastic Container Registry by using this command. So uh, AWS ECR is Elastic Container Registry. 
this is the command to login. This is the region, uh, region US uh, is 2. Pipe Docker login. The username will be AWS. The password, uh, we it will be generated by this one. So uh, that's why is password std in. And uh, this uh, other URL is like uh, this is our user ID. So we can find that uh, if we go to our account, you, we have the ID here. So that's it. And uh, dot docker dot ecr this is also the same region and amazon aws.com let's run this command and uh, we successfully logged in and uh, now what is left is to push our docker container to the elastic container registry so to do that we have to do docker tag uh, the name of our container was app and uh, I will copy again this URL. So we have to tag it to this URL slash in the end app. So uh, the name should be the same here and this URL will use it a lot. So let's tag this. And uh, after we tag it, we have to push it. So uh, remove tag to push and uh, let's wait till it's completed. So uh, we get an error that the uh, repository with name app does not exist. So let's create it. Uh, we are here at the repositories and let's create a repository. Uh, so this is the same URL and uh, it will be app. So uh, I'm uh, just checking the region if it is the same. So uh, this will be a private repository. This is the repository name and uh, I will leave the others by default. Let's create this repository and uh, we created it. So let's uh, push our image now, not here, here, docker push. And now it's pushing. So. Uh, this uh, will take some time and uh, the image will be pushed to the repository. So our image has been pushed. So if we go to our repository, we have uh, one latest image here, the size and everything else. So we have our image in our repository. I'll copy the URI here for the repository because uh, we will need it. And now let's go to Amazon Container Service, Elastic Container Service, ECS. And here, go to the clusters and we will create a cluster. So, uh, I will select uh, the AWS Far Fargate uh, cluster because uh, it will uh, take care of the managing of the server for us. If you want to manage your server, uh, select this other one, but uh, this is way easier if we select uh, AWS Fargates. So let's go next. Uh, the cluster name. So my app. And uh, I will create a default v VPC for this uh, cluster. And uh, I won't uh, select anything else. Let's create it. And uh, let's wait till this is completed. So the cluster is created, click uh, view cluster. And now we need uh, a task definition. So go to task definitions and let's create a new task definition. So I'll select Fargate. Next step, the task definition name, I'll call it app. Uh, the role, I'll select none. And uh, the network uh, mode, I will select the default. And uh, for the task memory, 0 0.5 gigabytes, this CPU, so I'll select the minimal versions. And uh, the container, here we need to add the container that we just copied, so this container. And the container name, it will be also up. Uh, here we need to set up the port, so 80 was the port inside the container, so we have to map it here. 
and uh, we can add al also other configurations but I won't add any so let's add this and we added our container there and uh, that's it basically let's create this uh, task definition so it was successful and now let's go to our cluster and uh, here now we can create our service so uh, this will be also a fargate uh, we need uh, the task definition uh, that we created so uh, amazon will automatically assign it uh, we need a service name so app so we have a lot of apps with names number of tasks i will select one but you can select two it will create two containers uh, one it will be only one container so i will keep everything minimal but you can select two and uh, everything uh, should be uh, okay now so let's go to the next step subnets i'll select uh, one of these options and uh, i'll assign a public ip yes load balancer i will select none and the uh, next step uh, here we can uh, auto scale but uh, since uh, this is uh, an example i will not auto scale so it will be just a simple container review create service so everything is created so let's go to the view service and uh, let's uh, click here and uh, the status is pending let's wait till uh, is uh, uh, running and then after it's running we will have a public ip which uh, we will see it let's wait so our task is running now and we have a public ip for it so i'll copy this ip i'll paste it here and uh, this is our app so this is how we deploy a docker container to aws fargate Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.